The halo has slipped, or should I say tiara? The Princess of Wales, Kate Middleton, natural heir to Princess Diana, and even the owner of Diana's iconic engagement ring, has stepped into a row about charity fundraising as she launched last night's Children in Need on BBC One. Here's what she had to say on the show. I'm delighted that Children in Need have invited me to open this evening's show. But sadly, we know that for too many people, stressful and traumatic situations in early childhood can cause harm and it can take many years to overcome. They help the very youngest, most vulnerable members of our society feel safe, secure and loved in these important formative years. Now, she spoke well, and I'm all for members of the royal family making speeches about charitable causes. And alongside their constitutional and ceremonial duties, it's the most important thing that they do. And I'm reluctant to criticise this young princess who hasn't put a foot wrong since she entered public life. Her quiet dignity, her commitment to the job and her grace are in stark contrast to her upstart sister-in-law over in Montecito, California. And so I reserve my ire for the numpty at the palace who decided to turn Princess Kate into a TV presenter for the night. Now, of course, she looked great. She's easier on the eyes than a pair of sliced cucumbers. But I think it's beneath senior members of the royal family to front TV shows. I mean, what's next? King Charles presents Question Time. Queen Camilla hosts Countdown. Prince Andrew to become the face of CBBS. Good luck with that. It's my view that as much as possible, senior members of the royal family should be like Victorian children. Seen, but not heard. I actually didn't know what Princess Kate sounded like up till now. And while she meant well with her opening stint on the show, focusing on the important aspects of last night's fundraiser, she has unwittingly, in my view, entered a political storm which chips away at the integrity of our monarchy. How so? Well, because as one of the most privileged and famous people in the world, it just isn't a good look to address a nation of economically punch-drunk citizens struggling with the cost of living, rising rent, exploding mortgages and £1.50 for a loaf of bread, to be telling people to dig into their pockets and give us, to paraphrase Bob Geldof, your bloody money. It seems I'm not alone in being shocked and disappointed by this intervention. The Daily Express newspaper, which is always a cracking read and a tablet of truth, in my view, led their paper with this shocking headline. Princess Kate sparks uproar over tone deaf BBC children in need appearance. And the paper reports the public fury, which was, I'm afraid, instant, was rather boiling over. D. Kelly Derry said a billionaire opening the Children in Need show on BBC, asking society for donations. Tone deaf. Linda Mullins said, what the hell is Kate doing? Opening Children in Need. So out of touch, not a good start. Asphalt World tweeted, I hope Kate Middleton is going to announce a 10% cut in royal funding from public taxes. Think how much that would raise for charity. And Plaid L. Les said, so Kate Middleton, who owns several homes, just popped up on children in need. Last year, it raised about £20 million or £354 million less than we gave the royals to tart up Buckingham Palace. The hypocrisy. Harsh words. Now, I couldn't have more admiration for Princess Kate, and it's my view she's been advised poorly to do this. But I'm afraid it does mark a pattern in which this new generation of royals, led by Charles at the very top, appear to be more politically active and more vocal than under the reign of Elizabeth II. Prince William presenting gongs at the eco-friendly Earthshot Awards, and Charles himself, just a few weeks ago, moaning to the comedian and explorer Michael Palin that we need to roll out the red carpet for refugees. Now, he may be right about that, but it's not for the king to say. And it's not for the Prince of Wales to push a net zero agenda, which may or may not be justified as those policies will impact the wallets and quality of life of ordinary Brits, which makes those policies political, which means they should be best left to politicians. Because whatever William, Charles or Catherine campaign, campaign for, they will always be insulated from the real world consequences, unlike the rest of us. Kate Middleton is the future of the royal family and arguably its biggest star. But last night she waded into a right royal mess. 
It's the children who are in need. We don't need to hear from millionaire royals.